The study that uh, was presented at ESMO is a randomized trial of over 900 patients who had high-risk melanoma, who were resected, rendered free of disease, but at high risk of relapse, meaning more than 50% rate, who were randomly allocated to receive a PD-1 antibody nivolumab or a different antibody as the comparator, the CTLA antibody ipilimumab, which has been approved by the FDA for high-risk melanoma. The results of the study showed that the clinical benefit was clearly superior, defined by the relapse-free survival or the time to return of the tumor for nivolumab compared to ipilimumab. Yet nivolumab was actually safer and had fewer side effects and less toxicity than ipilimumab. The most important message, I think, is that this is a potentially practice-changing result because in the future, when I assume nivolumab is approved, at least in the U.S. by the FDA, I think that patients at significant risk of relapse will all be receiving nivolumab, which will reduce the likelihood of this tumor returning and, I hope, prolong survival and reduce the risk of dying of melanoma in that population.